Ever wondered why hurricanes spin in a certain direction or why long-range snipers need to adjust their aim when shooting? The answer lies in a fascinating phenomenon known as the Coriolis effect. Embark on this journey with us as we delve into the intriguing world of the Coriolis effect, a fundamental principle that underpins not only meteorological phenomena but also influences a host of other fields. From the curling paths of hurricanes to the trajectory of long-range projectiles, this effect is a silent operator, shaping our world in subtle yet significant ways. In the heart of this phenomenon lies the spinning Earth, a celestial dancer twirling on its axis. As it pirouettes, the Coriolis effect comes into play, casting its influence on all moving objects, bending their paths in a mesmerizing dance of physics and motion. So, ready to dive into the world of swirling storms and spinning Earth, let's unravel the mysteries of the Coriolis effect. Imagine you're standing at the North Pole, trying to toss a ball to a friend at the equator. You'd think it would be a straight shot, right? But due to the Coriolis effect, that's not quite the case. Now, Let's delve into the mechanics of the Coriolis effect. At its core, this phenomenon is all about Earth's rotation. As the Earth spins on its axis, points closer to the poles move slower than those near the equator. If you've ever spun a basketball on your finger, you've seen this in action. The ball's center moves slower than its outer edges. Uh, when you throw that ball from the North Pole, it begins its journey moving slower than the Earth beneath it. As it moves towards the equator, it's entering parts of the Earth that are moving faster. But the ball doesn't speed up to match, it retains the speed it started with. This is where the Coriolis force comes into play. The Coriolis force is an apparent force that acts on moving objects. It's the Earth's rotation that causes the ball to deflect from its intended path. In the Northern Hemisphere, this deflection is to the right. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's to the left. So, thanks to our spinning Earth, your ball wouldn't travel in a straight line, but would instead curve to the right in the Northern Hemisphere and to the left in the Southern Hemisphere. Quite a curve ball, isn't it? Now let's take this phenomenon from the baseball field to the atmosphere. How does the Coriolis effect influence our weather patterns? The Coriolis effect has a profound impact on our weather systems, especially when it comes to large-scale phenomena like hurricanes and cyclones. These incredible storms rotate counterclockwise in the Northern Hemisphere and clockwise in the Southern Hemisphere, a direct result of the Coriolis effect. But it doesn't stop there. This invisible force also plays a crucial role in the formation of high and low pressure systems. You see, in the northern hemisphere, the Coriolis effect causes air to curve to the right, leading to a clockwise rotation around high pressure systems and a counterclockwise rotation around low pressure systems. The opposite is true in the southern hemisphere, where the air curves to the left. This very effect is also responsible for the trade winds and other global wind patterns. In the tropics, the trade winds blow from east to west while the westerlies in the mid-latitudes blow from west to east. This is no arbitrary occurrence, but a direct consequence of the Earth's rotation and the Coriolis effect. So the Coriolis effect isn't just an intriguing scientific concept. It's a vital piece of the puzzle that helps us understand our weather systems and their behavior. So next time you see a hurricane spinning on the news, remember it's not just wind and water, it's also the invisible hand of the Coriolis effect at work. So, we've travelled from the North Pole to the equator, from throwing balls to spinning hurricanes. And all along, we've seen the Coriolis effect in action. We've delved into the mechanics of how Earth's rotation impacts moving objects, creating this fascinating force that influences our weather systems. It's fascinating to think how the direction of deflection varies from hemisphere to hemisphere, isn't it? And that, my weather-savvy friends, is the Coriolis effect. A force unseen but undeniably felt. Until next time, keep looking up and wondering about the world around you.